So for today, we're going to be looking at the first Halloween sets that I made for Festival of the Lost. I do have another video that's coming out probably the day, the day after this video is up. But if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. It really does help because a huge portion of people are actually not subscribed. So if you do me a favor, like, sub really does help me uh, just motivate me to make more content. But it also helps the channel as well. So uh, before we get started, let me just point out a few things. First and foremost, you guys probably saw in the thumbnail already. But I do not have the mech suit armor in this video. I most likely will not have a video with the mech armor because, again, I've already explained my thoughts on two separate videos about the armor sets themselves. Uh, but if you want a real quick recap, I think the Hunter one is probably the worst armor set I've laid eyes on. And the Titan and Warlock are probably some of the coolest sets we've had for them. So unless someone donates the hunter set to me which is very much a possibility because i do have a patreon and other things open i don't think i'm going to be able to make a video for the hunters and honestly i don't think the hunters would hunters would blame me because the armor looks trash the titan and the warlock on the other hand if you if you guys do want me to make videos separately for you guys let me know in the comments below i'd be more than happy to do that but other than that let's get into it so to start off, we're going to be looking at my Hunter. I ended up going for a Ahamkara look for this one because obviously I wanted to use the Beastly Visage. I really think they look super, super cool. And it did come out roughly last year around that time. So it just kind of made sense to use it because I didn't use it last year. So again, a lot of bone in this set. You can also use the Young Ahamkara Spine if you want to use that instead of the Beastly Visage. But I think the Beastly Visage just looks a lot better. And for the few of you that know my rule, you guys will immediately see that I'm actually using two pieces in this set, which is really rare for me. So let's actually explain a few things. So the arms were using light king grips. I specifically wanted this because A, I love the texture on the forearm, like the, the does like slight like lines over the arms. I think th that's really cool. The backside of the forearm looks really cool with the organic metal look. And the fur is honestly the biggest point for me. I wanted fur on this set. Uh, be, to be fair, Ahamkaras are not known for their fur because if we look at Riven, also I do apologize that you guys may be hearing stuff in the background, but Florida is currently super cold and I'm taking advantage of this. So I have the window open. So if you guys hear anything, I do apologize. But back to what I was saying, we do know from Riven that she had no fur. But we also know that they change their forms. They can change their forms. So for me, I was like, I, I envisioned mine looking very bony, but also very like furry. Furry? Had a lot of fur is what I meant. I don't want to say that word again. <laughs> so the chest piece we're using the Dark Hollow Chitin. This is from the King's Fall Raid. Definitely one of my favorite chest pieces from Destiny, just because it looks really cool. Very, very boring, I will say, but I do like just how simple it looks i guess you would say for the boots we're using the apollo's following strides because i love love how this looks i feel like this is such a perfect look for an ahamkara look because if you look at the spine ahamkara or the uh the other one with the with the fangs or not fangs the claws seal ahamkara grasps that's another example of just the boniness of this set so that's why i wanted to use the pylos following strides uh and last but not least we have light kingdom cloak because i wanted to retain the fur and i think this was just perfect all around the reason we're using jimmy spectrum is obviously to retain that bone color uh but there's other shaders that you can be using if you want to use another shader for example you could be using the mercury vex chrome uh, which is from C, not season. It's from Curse of Osiris, if I remember correctly. You guys will see it in the Warlock one because I do use it for the Warlock one, which is why I didn't use it for my Hunter. But yeah, this is like probably one of my more favorite sets that I have made. Uh, if you don't want to use Lycan Grips and the Lycan Cloak, I do understand. You could probably switch the arms out for another bony plate or bony, bony piece, I should say. Uh, specifically, the the arms from grasp of avarice you can definitely use those and for the cloak uh you could actually use if you have it the steeplechase cloak i think it looks really good with it so yeah hunters let me know what you guys think i definitely think this is such a dub and i did put this on i guess a contest you would say on twitter uh but yeah this is definitely one of my favorite looks that i've made so far 
And for the Titans, we're going with the Sainted Visage. I made this, well, actually, I didn't make this exact look, but I made it a similar look for this for the ornament video that, that came out in this video, if I remember correctly. And this is just a variation of that, or it probably is the same thing. I don't know because I don't remember, but just to just to show you real quick, because I did do a video on this uh, ornament. Like I said, if you want to watch, it's right here. But for the helmet, obviously, Sainted Visage, Saint, uh, Helma Saint 14, one of my favorite helmets uh, since Destiny 1. I just think it looks really cool for the arms we're using the descending echo gauntlets uh specifically because i think they're the best set for this look because the war newman's boots i think pair really well with it now if you switch it, switch it out and use the descending echo greaves and the war newman's gauntlets i think the war newman gauntlets are they're not bad i just don't think they look good with this set personally because I do like the fact that the descending echo gauntlets does look a little knightish. Like I can imagine the descending echo being like an original armor set that used to be knightly and then be became corrupted. Uh, the war Newman's boots is one of my favorite boots in the game. Like honestly, anything from King's fall, anything from destiny one, just assume I'm going to love it because most of the time I do, uh, for the chest piece, a pilot's following plays easy. It's an easy dub. I love the fact that the the rib cage looks just so gnarly, but I also love the two spikes on the collarbone. I think those are really cool. Uh, for the mark, we're using the Forian mark. I've always said that the Forian set looks really good with organic looking stuff. And obviously this is no different. So what's pretty funny to me is I decided to use the Argent Territory shader for the sole reason that I wanted this this look to have like a mirrored effect to how Saint usually looks, because if you guys don't know, Saint uh, Saint 14 has like a, like a silver look to him. So I wanted to retain that silver look for him, but I also wanted to retain that purple glow on the actual helmet, which is why I'm using the Vitrify chrono chronology shader. So this is more of a like a duality of like how he how people would perceive him or specifically how Fallen would perceive him. So that's kind of like the whole theme of it where it's like, yeah, he, he looks evil as fuck. <laughs> this is the evil version, I guess you would say. And obviously throughout this whole thing, I should have been showing you guys how it actually looks from the top as well, because I think it looks amazing. Again, whoever decided to make this an ornament, you're, you're a smart person because this is an amazing ornament. So Titans, let me know what you guys think. I do apologize that I, I am reusing the set that I made in a previous video. But this is Halloween after all, and I just decided like the Sainted Visage, it'd be foolish not to use this in Halloween. And then last but not least, we have the Warlocks with another bony look. I'm pretty much giving you all bony looks for this set. The next set, I don't think I have that many, if at all, maybe the Hunter, but let's get into it. So for the helmet, we're using the Hateful Wish. This is like honestly such a cool looking ornament for such a trash ex i shouldn't say that it used to be good at one point but still it kind of sucks that the exotic's not that great uh for the arms a pile of following gloves paired with the chest piece from king's fall i think are amazing i think those two pair so well together and then for the boots we're using the corrupting echo boots which is amazing and then for the bond, we're using this fetish bond because I think that's the best one I could find. Uh, you could use some of the steeplechase stuff. Just be aware that the steeplechase bone stuff does not change color. So you would have to be trying to match the color of that bone color, which is why I didn't use any of them because I think that's more, pro more, more trouble than it's worth, honestly. But yeah, I definitely think this is probably one of the more cool hive themed sets that you can make because i think the hateful wish just looks amazing and it's not even technically or i shouldn't even say technically it's real it's actually not fallen theme or not uh not hive themed because that is actually an ah ahamkara skull or at least it should be so kind of like a what I, like to me it just looks amazing so that's why i put it together but yeah let me know what you guys think in the comments below i really had a lot of fun making these sets because it was just more of a like, let's just go all out with Halloween and what better way to do that with fall, like Hive theme stuff. I think Hive theme pairs well with that type of things. 
So yeah, let me know what you guys think. If you guys want to follow me again, links are in the description below. This one had basically only one of them that was kind of like a costume, which is the Saint 14 one. The next one has another one that's kind of a costume. And that one I actually really like because it's it's a costume from a movie or series. I should not series a franchise that I love. So again, if you guys want to follow me, links are in the description below. Thank you. And I'll see y'all later.